model world here in central florida um today we're going to do a video on the um amt 1959 chrysler imperial um it's either a, you could do it as a hard top or a convertible i did it as a hard top um and also we're going to do today we're going to do what's up on the bench next i picked out what i'm going to start on next uh i got that to review and um as far as the 34, if anybody's wondering what's going on with the 34, uh, I've kind of set it aside here for a minute. Um, I'm doing a, I got to do a lot of scratch building on a lot of things on this car because I am trying to duplicate a, a real one. So um, I've kind of lost my patience a little bit, so I've set it aside, but I will get back to it. We will look, see it later on. Uh, but anyway, this is the kit. Let me back out here a little bit little bit this is the AMT 59 Chrysler Imperial uh, of course this was a curbside no motor no engine in this one um, had a lot of a lot of crazy things <laughs> a lot of crazy customizing thing uh, I picked to do it basically stock uh, I normally don't do stock but um, I, I just couldn't figure out what I wanted to do to customize this. It's such a big land yacht, and it's such a pretty car. Uh, I, I remember these when I was a kid uh, driving around town. But, uh, but we did stay with stock. So um, with that, we're going to go ahead and bring it in. Set it up here. Uh, there it is. 59 Chrysler Imperial. Uh, big old boat <laughs> it's really a big one um, there we go there we go do a couple I did do um I did do I put the lowering blocks on it I want it to set low it's sitting pretty down pretty low to the ground uh, we did a lot of a lot of bare metal foiling uh, I was real happy with the paint. It got a couple flaws here and there, but they're really um, they're really minor. Uh, the convertible top, um, I try to make. I, I'm not real happy the way it came out. Um, I did it with masking tape. Uh, I put the masking tape and I cut it all out and I painted it white. I'm um, uh, not real crazy, but it didn't really. It came out all right, but it's not great. Um, I probably should have just went ahead and paint, painted it white and left it alone. I tried to make it look like it, like vinyl or anything, but uh, that was my goal. Um, I'll see if I can flip it here. Uh, take a quick look. It, it didn't turn out the way I I thought it would, uh, but it ain't bad. I mean, I've uh, it's the first time I really tried it. I've done a couple convertible tops with with masking tape and had fairly good luck with it, but this just didn't come out with enough. Um, I guess enough grain in it. Um, we black washed the grill. We did a black wash on the grill. It's about the only thing I did black wash on. Uh, of course, we put the put the fender mirrors on. Um, let me let me see if I can zoom in on this on this interior a little bit. We did the interior basically in a white and uh, uh, same color as the interior. Uh, exterior. I mean, we we did chrome buttons, as you can see. We got the mirror up on the dash, which these were kind of known for that. They were kind of one of the first ones to do it. I think '53 Chevy Bel Air had the mirror up on the up on the dash too. Um, can't really see a lot of the interior. I don't know if I can get a little light shined on that or or not. Let's see if we can put some some light in there. But I I did kind of replicate the, the dash I pulled up some pictures I did the chrome uh, painted steering wheel is is white with little chrome edging with the color of the car in there but um yeah kind of I didn't do too much take too much time on the interior I kind of just left it came in white so I just kind of did a little light um, 
matte clear on it and painted the gold inserts. Um, I did do some chroming on the doors. Let me see if I can pull this thing in so we can get a better shot in there. I did some chrome inserts on, on the doors. Uh, there's kind of a little bit better shot of the dash. But, uh, but that's, um, that's about it for the interior. Um, of course, we kept, like I said, we kept the stock. We did the white walls, stock, stock wheel covers. Um, nothing much underneath. Uh, I just kind of, this is a, like a one-piece chassis. I painted the mufflers and did some painting on the engine. Uh, made the torsion bars red. And that's about it. It does have dual exhaust ends on it. I kind of I uh, blackened those at the end. Uh, of course, we put the license plate on it, which I always put a license plate on my cars. Um, but basically, um, that's it. Um, we did we did this in a um, of course that's an acrylic. That's an acry gold acrylic, um, and the clear on it is the Rust Oleum 2X clear. Yeah. That's really all I use. Um, but um, that's basically it. There's not much to it. That's pretty stock. Oh, I did do, um, as far as the tail lights and, um, and underneath the tail lights, uh, the tail lights, I, I, I used a jewel, I used a red jewel, and for the little reflector underneath, I used a little jewel. I put a jewel there also. So, uh, the tail lights are, are a red jewel. I, I like using the jewels. I have a bunch of those I use for tail lights a lot. But, um, so that's pretty much it for the um, 59 uh, Chrysler Imperial. We'll do another once around here. A lot of bare metal foil. These are pretty easy kits to put together. They're they're held together with four screws, so you really can't misalign anything. That's, that's the only thing I like about building the curbsides. When you gotta put it all together, nothing Nothing's out of whack. Everything, you just put the four screws in and everything lines up. Okay, uh, so that's it for the 59 Chrysler Imperial. We're going to take that aside here. Set this aside. Um, what I'm going to do next, um, the box looks big, but the kit, <laughs> the kit really isn't. Let's see if we can back out here some more. Uh, this is a Revell um, 125th model. It's a 62 Chevy uh, Shelby Cobra 2 289. Um, this is a, I seen this online and I bought it. I don't know why. Well, I never built one of these to start with. I don't even have anything like this in my in my collection, so I thought it'd be kind of neat. And I haven't had this very long. Uh, the only thing I don't understand, if I'm reading this right, this is a 2020 Revell. Uh, so this just must have been a, a new release. Um, but down here it says Germany, and that's how they advertise this, is a Shelby Co German, Germany Cobra, but then it says made in Korea. Um, if anybody can explain that to me, I'd be more than willing to listen. Uh, but I, I think this is a fairly new kit. Uh, I, I'm gonna pull it out of the box uh, for, one, for a couple of reasons. There's a couple of things I wanna show you about this kit that's kind of unique. Hang on a second, we're getting, our, getting it out of the box. It comes with 119 pieces, which ain't a lot, but it's, it's a good good size kit. Um, it's all in a bag yet, still in the bag. I haven't taken it out of the bag yet. I gotta do a, um, when I'm done with the video, I'll take it out of the bag and give it a bath. But it's done in a gray. I, I, I've never seen a kit done in a dark gray. like It's almost like a dark gray primer. Um, there's a lot of chrome. You know, it seems to be a nice kit. Seems to have a lot of nice stuff in it. Um, what's unique is is the I don't know if anybody's built it, but it's the instruction sheet. This has got the coolest instruction sheet that I've ever seen. Um, it's actually done in color. I mean, it's a it's a nice and I mean everything's like color coded. This is pretty, to me, this was cool, right? This is easy to follow. I mean, there's no denying what's what, you know, trying to figure out what is that piece. 
You know, sometimes they show you a piece and you're saying, what is that? And of course you gotta go back and try to find out what it is, but this is all pretty clear. I kinda, I kinda like this. I've never seen this, but I imagine some of you people that's been doing modeling a lot longer than I have, uh, have seen instructions done in color before, but this is the first one I've run across. So, um, to me this was pretty cool. Seems like it's going to be easy to easy instructions to follow. Um, I don't know what color I'm going to do. Um, as far as Cobras go, I'm usually partial to the dark blue with the white stripe. Um, I'm usually pretty partial to that that Cobra. I like that look. So, um, so I, I don't know what we're going to be doing as far as color. I'll have to research a little bit. But um, that's kind of it. Uh, that's our new. That's the next one up. We will be doing updates on that. Um, of course, there will be um, when I'm done with this video. At the end of this video, there will be a slideshow um, on the um, on the Chrysler uh, Imperial. I will have a slideshow up. So uh, we're gonna just set it up here. Maybe do one more go around for everybody. Uh, Just one more go around and uh, so that's it. Have a good one. Stay safe. Goodbye.